So here is a very interesting experiment I am conducting with this Lexus LS500, which has the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 engine. As many of you guys know, this is the engine that's slated to go into the new 2022 next generation Tundra. So my purpose of driving this LS500 is uh, one or two things I wanted to accomplish. One is that some of you guys know that I'm looking to trade in my 2020 GR Supra for something else. And I was thinking of the Lexus IS500, ideally the launch edition as my primary potential model to buy if I were to trade in my Supra. But I was looking at the number and thinking, wait a minute, for about the same price, as a Lexus IS500 launch edition, I can buy this uh, two-year-old Lexus LS500 fully loaded with every possible options for about the same price. So this is uh, about $80,000 Canadian, which is um, uh, in US dollars about uh, 60, $65,000, I guess. And so it's not much more than likely what the Lexus IS500 uh, launch edition will cost. So that was an intriguing thought and so I wanted to test drive this Lexus uh, LS to see if this is something that would be satisfying for me because it needs to be sporty enough to um, to make it enjoyable as a daily driver but also luxury enough and interesting enough that I would want to keep driving it for a few years. So that's uh, one of the first objective. Um, and then the second objective is I was really curious to see if the twin turbo V6 that we have all been talking about in this Lexus LS, when it goes into the 2022 Toyota Tundra, whether this is in fact a good engine to have for that truck. So by driving this LS, even though you'll be tuned differently for the truck, I can get a pretty good feel and it'll be a really good comparison and evaluation of how suitable this engine is for the upcoming Tundra. Now obviously the way Toyota engineers will retune and readjust this motor for Tundra uh, will be a key to the success of how the Tundra will feel on the road. But for the most part, it's going to have the same basic fundamental feel and power delivery and torque rating will be somewhat similar, although I'm sure it will be a little bit less than the LS in the Tundra. And But uh, the basic feeling of how the engine really, really executes is uh, power delivery should be similar because it's going to be a basically uh, a very uh, similar architecture in terms of the engine design. So. Uh, I wanted to take this out and uh, see if, in fact, the Tundra is going to benefit from this new twin turbo V6 when it finally uh, ditches and throws away the beloved uh, 5.7 liter V8 engine. So it's going to be really sad news to see Tundra let go of the V8 engine because that's the engine that we all love in the Tundra. But what do I think of this twin turbo V6, at least in terms of the driving feel? We can't quite measure the reliability and so forth yet because it's still very new. But so far in the Lexus, uh, just as a FYI, it has been very reliable. There has not been any noticeable uh, issues or failures uh, or defects in the Lexus uh, twin turbo V6. But again, of course, it hasn't been around as long as the V8 engine from Toyota, so that's perhaps a bit premature to say. But you know what? The overall feel of the engine is that first, it's extremely smooth, obviously, especially in this Lexus format. Uh, it, the power delivery is strong, it's aggressive, and uh, when you step on the gas, it comes on pretty strong. In fact, I was uh, surprised at how quickly the acceleration picked up and I was literally um, pressed into my seat as I stepped on the gas and they have also a really good engineering of the sound that's created. There's obviously some fake engine sound piping through the system here, but the overall experience, both the combination of the torque, the power, the delivery uh, and the smoothness mixed in with the engine sound and just the way that the whole engine performs, 
I will tell you it's hard to tell that this is just a twin turbo V6. And, and I shouldn't say just a twin turbo V6 because it's got tremendous power and torque. But if you are thinking that there's nothing that's going to ever replace the V8 engine in the Tundra, well, you know what? This is probably as good as it's going to get because both the power and torque is immediate, smooth, and actually very impressive. Now, if I open the hood of this Lexus LS500 in a typical Lexus fashion, everything is covered up to make the engine compartment look beautiful. But uh, in the process, I can't really see anything, right? The entire cover is uh, completely protecting the engine in terms of the underneath. So you can't really see anything. So I can't show you too much, but it's pretty packed inside there. It's not a, it's not a, a small engine by any means. And uh, so I was hoping to show you a little bit more of the inner um, making of this engine, but I can't show you too much. But uh, I'm pretty sure in the Tundra format, this wouldn't be uh, covered as much and you will be able to see the engine a lot more than this. So, um, but anyway, let me take you for a short drive and show you how the engine actually performs on the road. So that was full throttle and you, as you can uh, perhaps see from the, the video, uh, the car moves forward and surges forward in a very aggressive manner. Now it's obviously tuned for a softer feel in this Lexus LS and you'll be tuned differently for a truck application like the Tundra, but um, you know, you'll get pretty good feel for the quality of the power delivery and the torque. Um, on this engine by driving the LS. Uh, it's smooth, it's quiet, and perhaps again, the, the way that the engine noise and everything will feel and sound will be different in a Tundra. But you know what? If you are thinking that twin turbo V6 does not provide sufficient power, well, that cannot be because this has tremendous power and torque and you feel it uh, regardless of what speed you're driving when you step on the gas, it goes uh, where you point it. So I think the power delivery is extremely impressive. And I'm very sure that if this engine is in fact uh, one that goes into Tundra, that you will not be disappointed by the amount of acceleration, power and performance you're going to get because um, it just, um, it's just not possible uh, to be disappointed because it's actually a really impressive package. And uh, when you're not speeding or accelerating, it's very smooth. So I know another uh, item that um, people think about is whether uh, a non-V8 engine like this one will be as quiet and as refined as a V8 because V8 engine will have um, pretty low RPM at highway speed. And so it gives you a really good, comfortable cruising range and cruising feel. But honestly, this V6, I guess partly because it's tuned for Lexus, is extremely smooth. An average person driving this under normal circumstances might not be able to tell that it is a twin turbo V6 under the hood instead of a V8 engine. So I think Lexus, at least in this application, have done a really great job of tuning and refining and programming the engine to kind of feel like a V8 engine in kind of everyday use. Uh, I will say, of course, when you step on the gas, despite uh, having a really good torque and acceleration because of the twin turbo, I will say that there is still a subtle difference between this and a V8 because the V8 engine just have that really beautiful growl and a beautiful push uh, and a feel that is uh, hard to replicate with a twin turbo V6 engine technology. But this is the best of what I've seen. I've driven the the also twin turbo V6 in the Ford F-150 and other cars with twin turbo engines. And uh, this one I think is the one that feels most like a V8 engine. So you know what? I think uh, as you know that I've uh, placed a deposit on a 2022 Tundra. And of course, like everyone else, I'm thinking, boy, we're gonna lose a V8 engine on that uh, new model. And is it still worth buying the Tundra? But uh, if the Tundra engine feels anything like the LS, perhaps it won't have as much power or torque 
but if it's something very close to this I'm pretty happy with it I think there's not a lot of um, a compromise you're going to be making with uh, switching from V8 to V6 uh, of course like I said it's still not exactly the same and for those of you who love the sound and the feel of the V8 engine I'm not quite sure that you're going to get the exact same feel in a twin turbo V6 but if you're just looking at the pure numbers in terms of the horsepower, the torque, the acceleration, and the performance, and even the general feel, uh, you know what, you're not gonna lose very much at all. And I'm quite satisfied and happy uh, that um, uh, they have made a choice to move into V6 twin turbo because you're going to get as much power and torque and performance as a V8 with a substantially better fuel economy. And when push comes to shove and you're forced to press on the gas, like this to accelerate a little bit. Uh, I think because of the twin turbo, uh, the power and the torque uh, curve is quite interesting. It's um, programmed and engineered to provide a very early release of um, torque. And so you get pushed to the seat quite a bit. And sometimes what happens with the V8 engine is that there's plenty of power and even plenty of torque, but it takes a bit of um, uh, time for it to all kick in and that's one advantage of a twin turbo right you, you get that um, power surge right away and so you don't have to worry about sacrificing performance moving from v8 to v6 uh, it's more to do with the general feel and um, uh, the general um, quietness of the v8 engine that's a little bit different from a twin turbo v6 and of course like i said the reliability over a long period of time like 10 years plus a little hard to say when you compare V8 to twin turbo V6 but I can tell you based on all the research I've done this twin turbo V6 has been very reliable and even many more years to come I just don't think you're going to have a problem but some people just don't like twin turbo they want a naturally aspirated engine and from that perspective well I can't argue with that there is uh, nothing quite the same uh, incidentally, there's an older Tundra that's in front of me right now <laughs> that has a big V8 uh, emblem in the back and so it's kind of interesting to drive right behind it. And of course, everyone who has a Tundra with a V8 is extremely happy with the engine except for the fuel economy, right? It's a terrible fuel economy. So, uh, you know, Toyota is simply moving with the today's times and trying to create the truck that can provide good power and torque and performance while substantially increasing the fuel economy because that's one thing that is a disappointment for um, truck owners or Tundra owners. If they have to drive quite a bit, uh, you use up a lot of money for gas. So um, you know what, if you can have the cake and eat it too and get a power and torque feel similar to V8 engine, but with an advantage of a V6 fuel economy, well, I think it's a bit of a win-win. And later, perhaps maybe six months or a year later, I am expecting Toyota to introduce um, the twin turbo V6 combined with the hybrid system. And that one will create even more power and torque and even better fuel economy. So perhaps that will be the one to get at some point. We don't think that will be introduced right away. But even this twin turbo V6 without the hybrid honestly is very impressive and I think it's the one that is well suited for the new 2022 Toyota Tundra. So, um, you know, in conclusion, a couple of things. One is, uh, would I trading the GR Supra for this one instead of the Lexus IS500, especially the launch edition? That one is a big question mark. I was thinking that I might actually like the LS because I've always liked the LS. Um, but um, it's probably not sporty enough for me, even in the Sport S Plus mode. So it's probably not the right car uh, because if that would be a huge change to go from a GR Supra to Lexus LS. And I think, uh, of course, none of us have driven the Lexus uh, IS500 yet. But I think the V8 engine in that car will be a really fun uh, engine to have and also with um, with a kind of performance-minded trans, uh, transmission and suspension on the IS500. Even though it's a smaller car, I think that might still be a better upgrade from the GR Supra to, to the um, Lexus IS500. So it pro it's probably not the right choice in terms of this Lexus LS, 
but this one's a really good deal because it's depreciated quite a bit since its introduction. It's almost $130,000 in Canadian when it was brand new and it's asking about $80,000. Perhaps you can buy it for about 75. So tremendous value for the money, but maybe it's not quite the right car for me. So that conclusion is the first conclusion I come, come up with. And the second conclusion is, would this engine be suitable and would I like it? Would people like it in the new Toyota Tundra? And what I can say is that, um, you know what, it's more than good enough in terms of power and torque is smooth, it's refined, yet, uh, yet um, has more than enough power to push you to the seat and give you that uh, uh, maybe kind of like a semi V8 feel. So I think it's actually quite a suitable application for engine. You'll be tuned differently anyways. And I really think that um, it could be uh, potentially uh, a, a good marriage between the engine and the truck so let's wait and see how that goes but for now i'm satisfied that this twin turbo v6 will be more than sufficient and very much well suited to the new 2022 toyota tundra thanks so much for watching i hope this gives you some more insight about the engine that will likely go into the new tundra and so far i'm pretty impressed so we'll catch you later and thank you for again for watching